I can ask you questions. <laughs> what you thought of the fashion show? And if you get the story, for example. A story at the fashion show. Um, I loved it. First of all, I really did. Um, a, the music fit perfectly. It was a very, uh, a very cool accompaniment. And um, uh, we also were, were commenting before that uh, there, there's a lot more, uh, more stuff that everybody could wear every day. Yeah. In, in exactly. And it's always a combination between couture pieces and ready to wear. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that online shop of yours is going to boom soon. <laughs> so tell me about this story behind the, the theme. Well, the whole theme um, of the collection, uh, it's called uh, uh, Freak Chic. It's uh, uh, an uh, adaption of the uh, Out of the Freak Show CD of Sierra Niva, the band who uh, accompanied the whole fashion show live. And uh, actually, um, in short, the story tells about the Freak Show of life where we as humanity actually are uh, facing uh, ourselves in. Um, we started out thousands and thousands of years ago uh, being uh, in balance with ourselves and with, uh, with nature. And we had respect for planet Earth and uh, respect for life itself. And all the way actually um, we went totally nuts. And nowadays society is, uh, in my opinion, heading towards uh, a, a total climax of destruction um, and I actually try to wake up people a little bit with this fashion story and especially the, the uh, our direction in it to step back and go back to yourself and um, be a little bit more nice to yourself and to the people around you and uh, realize that you and I are no different uh, to each other. Uh, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Catholic, whether you're an atheist or uh, you have another religion that you practice or you don't have any religion, each uh, human being is one and the same. We come from the same ancestors, we have the same color of red blood, and actually we all need the same and that is to be loved and to give love and that is in short actually what I would try to say with this fashion show that's a lovely message that's yeah. very well I think also it's a um, it's a message that we really need for the moment um, the whole the whole world the whole situation with terrorism and um, also the, the craziness of, of nowadays uh, uh, economical uh, society um, it's not a good way that we're heading, and I really hope that we uh, we wake up and turn a different way. Uh. Yeah. Um, well said. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, the singers that you that you also invite to be your models. Um, do you have? Um, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to say favorite or anything, but uh, do you already have in mind who would wear what when you are? Um, designing the stuff? Uh, not actually. Um, I always make sure that I have several sizes in my designs uh, so that I know that when I pick my models that I can um, uh, combine uh, the, uh, the matching size to the models that I, uh, uh, that I take on for the fashion show. And when it comes to the, the vocalists who are being part of the fashion show, um, well, of course, on forehand you know their sizes, so you can start in designing with them in mind, having an outfit that is going to fit them for the show. But on the other hand, yeah, sometimes you need to make a, a specific design that is not fitting on that particular model that you had in mind and you have to switch. So uh, sometimes only a few days before the show, then I have exactly clear which model is going to wear what. You, you're right, you have a very uh, varied um, sizes on, on the catwalk. Um, it was still a little on the thin side though. <laughs> yeah, but it was also uh, a couple of models who were having real boobs and <laughs> real curves. So uh, I, I always try to give it a, a good balance. Um. And how about the time? How long did it, did it take to to put the, the show on, 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 on the feet. Um, how did you, how long, how many hours? Um, for the art direction of the show, thinking out the whole concept, the whole theme, and uh, the way you want to present it, 
that actually already started, uh, let's say, around uh, February, March this year. And uh, from that moment on, I was creating the story in my head, uh, searching all images uh, together, uh, creating photographs, creating videos to make the projection movie. Um, already thinking of the, the specific collection ideas that I want to create with uh, the fashion. Um, and really creating the fashion pieces actually started, let's say, one and a half months ago. So everything that you saw on stage is uh, created over the last eight weeks. That's really fresh. <laughs> How many rehearsal hours did you um, did you rehearse? Were you able to rehearse here? Well, we had a, a short run through with all the models uh, earlier this day. And uh, of course, the band had their sound check, so they really uh, were able to uh, do the sound check for the music. And one week ago on Sunday, we had a, a whole rehearsal day with uh, speaking through the whole fashion show, uh, but of course not on a stage. Um, but it's always a good thing to, um, to talk everything over with the whole crew from A to Z, uh, practice the makeup, uh, do fittings with the uh, clothing, the bands and the singers, of course, had their rehearsals before the show. So uh, to put this on stage, we have been rehearsing uh, for at least one week on four hands. All right, when did you wake up this morning? At six o'clock. All right, that's OK. <laughs> and I, went to, I went to bed by uh, half past uh, one this uh -huh. night. And I closed the doors of my atelier uh, at uh, nine yesterday evening. So that was pretty OK and relaxed. Uh, yeah. If you say so. <laughs> yeah, well, well it was it was all worth it. It was really beautiful, and of course, um, you uh, as you dress uh, big names of, of our uh, metal scene. Um, do you have uh, I don't know a special piece uh, from all the new the new Epica uh, outfits, for example, or you also just told us you did uh, Diana's uh, for the upcoming album. Is there, uh, I don't know, something uh, that, that's a special highlight for you? Well, yeah, that's very difficult, Kiki, because every singer is different and every outfit is a completely unique custom-made piece where I put all my passion and all my creativity in. So that would be asking a mother to choose between her children. <laughs> okay, that's true. That was mean from me. But um, do the singers come to you with ideas or is it all your or they put it on all in your hands well um, it mostly is a, a cooperation they come with uh, requests of uh, what they would like to see as a silhouette to wear um, of course they come with ideas of the artwork of a new album uh, it's always nice to uh, uh, communicate with the outfits uh, towards the album artwork um, and of course uh, we also in the beginning talk uh, through what kind of um, show special effects for example they're using with pyros or projection screens or lightning uh, show and it's always as a designer fun to uh, interact with your design on what they do on stage as a band uh, yeah. so it's always a, a cooperation custom made uh, stage outfits is always a cooperation between me and uh, the singer or vocalist that has to wear it. Uh, do they like, I don't know, practice headbanging when they come to your fittings? <laughs> yeah, they do. And uh, sometimes even that is not enough because you cannot um, create the same situation mm -hmm. in the atelier while uh, having a fitting mm -hmm. in a normal uh, uh, climate mm -hmm. uh, with just uh, uh, energy movements on stage everything is plus 10 the heat is plus 10 yeah. the intensity of movement is much uh, intenser uh, the heat is much uh, intenser so even uh, when we do fittings in the atelier and I always ask my client please move around do headbang do your positions like you do on stage it always can be that they interfere in problems on stage because they are uh, moving so many uh, 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 more intense than in the atelier. And that's with custom-made outfits uh, that are very um, technically um, uh, difficult because I always try to make multiple wearable outfits. Mm -hmm. 
that it often sometimes need to be adjusted while touring. There sometimes are changes needed. Uh, yeah. Cool. That's it's so like, interesting. It's like a car. And when you design a car, before a car can be sold, it's run through a whole lot of tests. Mm -hmm. Well, in, in our situation, all those tests cannot be done. So sometimes you face some um, um, problems. wearing problems uh, yeah. or uh, things that the, the, the outfit is starting to create in a different way that you expect it to be, yeah. or the fabric is working a different way. So you have to make adjustments uh, during uh, the process. Yeah, but that's great that you still can do that, that um, everything can work so flexible. We, Thank uh, you we so do much. our best. Uh, yeah. And that is a very good work. <laughs>